you work in the ICU and as soon as you enter in the hospital you already have a hint that today is going to be a very busy day because as you pass by the three ICU stations you notice that everybody is doing their cold blues there was not that much of manpower in the hospital because they are RTs and the cold blue team were currently being utilized in the ER and in some other units now you're starting your shift with one patient status post cabbage possibly number one with intraortic balloon pump normally this is a one is to one ratio but since today is a very special day despite your grievances to your charge nurse calling your manager at one o'clock in the morning you still ended up getting two patients your second patient is coming from the ER a 77 male diabetic that just arrived in the ED from an ice cream party of his granddaughter that missed his dialysis yesterday. Previous vital signs that you received from the ED are as follows. Blood pressure 70 over 40. Patient is already receiving bolus of IV fluids. Autosat of 87%. Patient is already on a non rebreather mass. Temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Bear hugger is already on. From ED, you receive report that you receive report there's a wide QRS, most of the 12 leads in patients EKG. Monitor shows normal sinus rhythm in the 70s. When the patient arrived in the unit, you saw the people from ED running like there's no tomorrow into the patient's room together with the screaming and hysterical relatives. Here you are in front of the unconscious patient. He is non-responsive. You immediately activated the emergency response system. Then started checking for a carotid pulse in less than 10 seconds. There's no palpable pulse, not even a faint one. But the patient is in normal sinus rhythm in the monitor. So you started doing compressions 30 to 2 while waiting for help to come. Patient already have an IV access from the ED and thanks to them, you have a gauge 22 in the left AC. Somebody's already setting up the crash cart for your and someone has already prepared your meds. Another co-worker is already placing the pads with the hopes that the patient could be in a shockable rhythm. Epinephrine 1 mg IV push is already given so you were thinking about the many causes of this strategy. What's the rhythm? PEA, a very bad rhythm. While you asked to be relieved by another colleague in doing the compression because two minutes have already passed, you are now thinking about the HSNTs. Then you remember this video to memorize the HS easily. Even your nursing assistant can do it. How? So this is your key sentence. I would say these are your keywords in remembering the HS of PEA. Diabetic patient has a wide QRS, vitals crashing down. Where diabetic patient, you would think about hydrogen ion, meaning what? Acidosis, like what? Like DKA. So that's one. And what follows? Diabetic patient has a wide QRS. Wide QRS. If QRS is more than 0 0.12 seconds or more than three boxes then your EKG shows wide QRS then you think quickly either hypokalemia or hyperkalemia what's next check vitals so what's in the vital signs of your patient that you need to remember so vitals crashing down what are this your blood pressure 70 over 40 you're going to think about hypovolemia. How about the oxygenation, the autosat, 89%. So you think about hypoxia. How about the temperature, 95 degrees Fahrenheit? You think about hypothermia. So there you go. Diabetic patient has a wide QRS. You have to ask your CNA to check your patient's vitals.